five, four, three, two, launch commit. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> that was very close. There's the Roadster, and there's the flight vehicle. All right, let's go for flight two, real quick. <laughs> that was great, that was really straight. Five, four, three, two, launch commit. Excellent, there it is. And there goes the roadster. <laughs> So out of the two flights for Thump, the one that is much more interesting is FL-148, which is the second flight. So 
This is all of the flight data uh, that Signal pushes out for, for every launch. Um, so if we bring this into, I'm just using curve here, getcurve.io. Um, if I import this in, we can take a look at all of the data uh, that gets like really nicely automatically plotted. So let's take a look. We've got um, our time, um, accelerometer measurements. If I just rescale this to the uh, under power portion of flight. Uh, so we've got accelerometer measurements, battery voltage, uh, continuity on Pirate Channel 3. You can see the voltage drops. We have a bunch of TVC motion. And uh, if you were to expand this out, you'll see the, uh, the voltage comes back up once we turn those TVC servos off. Uh, other things that are worth looking at here are um, mostly just the orientation of the vehicle. So we can plot a couple of things here. Why don't we plot the X set point um, against uh, the X orientation uh, and see how that comes out. So if I go in here under uh, the FL148, which is our, uh, the flight that we're looking at here, uh, we're looking for something that we can compare to set point X. And for me, that's going to be orientation X here. And then just so we can be clear, um, I'll drop the accelerometer readings in there so that we can understand you know, what part of the flight is actually controlled under thrust. So we basically got this middle section. I can turn that off, or rather, why don't we, why don't we just go ahead and uh, view this. Um, here we go. OK, so if I turn, um, let's see. If I just have these two things on, you'll see that we're, we're tracking. The yellow is the set point, the green or rather the green is the set point, the yellow is the orientation. Um, and so I, I programmed a pitch over into the vehicle here and we're tracking through the roll of the vehicle, which is why we get that dip. We're already off to kind of a rough start which a, with a pitch over to four degrees on the X. Um, and then as the set point moves up, we do track it. Um, but one of the things that is a disadvantage of a PID controller, especially with a heavy eye term, like I used on most of my rockets, is that for this entire time right here, it's almost a full second of, of uh, steady state error, essentially, between our set point and our orientation. What this means is that we are accumulating a bunch of error and we get all this backlash that we then have to either eye term out or, I mean, we just, it's very hard to deal with that. So we're kind of getting integrator wind up uh, through this massive pitch over maneuver, which is why you see the vehicle fishtail around so much. Um, during flight. So then if we go back here and I and I track it against the Y, um, so set point Y, I'll drop orientation Y into there and we'll sort of assume the same thing. The Y axis is is, uh, is much better. Um, yeah, you can see we're tracking pretty closely there. So most of the error is on the X axis. Um, and that's basically what's going on for this flight. It's a really heavy pitch over maneuver. I set it to um, uh, to 20 degrees and if I go into here, and we take a look at the setting log. So we have FL and SL. FL represents the flight log. That's all of the data through the entire um, flight. And then the settings log uh, gets logged at startup. We've got all of our flight parameters here. So the software version, the build code, vehicle name. Um, and then when we look over here, course correction is enabled. X pitch over orientation, we're going to 20 degrees. So you can sort of see why it's so coupled with the x-axis here is that we're, we're just pitch, pitching over on the x-axis. Uh, it starts after uh, one second and we're correcting at 90 degrees per second. So little aggressive here. These are the PID values I used uh, and then just other things like calibration for uh, the IMU and midpoints, stuff like that. Anyway, there's a bunch of data from all of these flights. Figured, you know, might want to change it up for how these videos come out and what type of data I show. Um, so, I don't know. Hopefully this is interesting. Thanks for watching. All right. Here's Thump. Oh boy, focus. Here's Thump all in one piece. We've got the nose cone run cam working. Uh, the computer is still going, so I'll turn that off now. The motor is most definitely burnt. Uh, I'll turn this off, and, and speaking of run cams, let's see who we got over here. Oh, this is, this guy's upset, he has low battery. <laughs> but we got the Roadster cam. Alright, this is great news. Thanks for tuning in with, to uh, Nonsense with Joey B, featuring Parker and Kyle. May your skies be blue and your winds be low. <laughs>